Hi, so let's have a look at the impact that internationalisation can have on the finance area of a business. So whenever we're thinking about the impact that internationalisation can have on a business, first it's worth just thinking about, well, how do we judge the performance of this uh, functional area? And uh, you might just want to pause the video and write down as many ways as you can think of that we could judge the impact on finance. Okay, I trust that you did that and uh, these are the ones that I could think of. We're looking at um, profit and profitability, return on capital employed, revenue growth, cost cutting, cash flow, gearing, liquidity. And what we're thinking about is how um, internationalizing, how operating abroad, whether that be production or exporting to another market, how might that impact the uh, finance function of a business? So. Um, let's just have a look at some examples. So uh, Amazon earn 33% of their revenues from their international markets, from selling uh, stuff overseas. And that is, I couldn't find any statistics, but Amazon are growing rapidly outside of North America, which is their base, particularly into markets like India and China and those emerging markets. Um, the AWS stands for Amazon Web Services, by the way, um, which possibly they're um, accounted for differently because um, it might be difficult to tell where those websites are, are hosted. So that's where Amazon gained their revenue from. Okay, this shows that Apple are having a bit of trouble in China, but you can see in 2015, Apple were experiencing absolutely phenomenal growth in China. Okay, that's dropped off since then, but these were, these were sales um, of uh, Amazon's products. Okay, so we can see that international markets should increase our revenues um, uh, and, and that will have an impact on the financial uh, performance of a business. Equally, internationalization allows companies to experience economies of scale. So you can uh, pause the video if you want and have a read of this article here. But it's basically about how um, operating on a bigger scale allows businesses to benefit from lower average costs, economies of scale, things like um, being close to uh, suppliers, being closer to uh, international markets, producing on a larger scale and standardising products, all can lead to lower average costs. Um, uh, there's an example here of micro t uh, Microsoft teaming up with Lenovo uh, in order to achieve a cost-cutting synergy. Um, Lenovo will share their research and expertise in the Chinese market and Microsoft are going to provide technical support. So building these alliances can help organisations cut their costs as well. Microsoft use Lenovo's uh, expertise in the Chinese market and then they don't have to research it themselves which brings down their costs. Um, so we've got impact, we've got revenue impact, we've got cost impact. Um, as an organisation becomes international as well, we're going to have export uh, um, exchange rate effects. So uh, we've got a couple of headlines here. Uh, the, as you'll be aware, the value of the pound has dramatically dropped since the Brexit vote as a reflection of a uh, perhaps lack of confidence uh, in the British economy. But the um, impact of that has actually been um, share prices in the UK have benefited. Well, why might that be? Um, many British businesses are actually operating abroad and earning uh, profits in other currencies. So profits earned abroad by multinationals such as drugs giant GlaxoSmithKline and major mining companies are worth more when converted into sterling. So if you're a foreign business, uh, sorry, if you're a UK headquartered business earning your money in pounds and the value of the pounds drops, but you've got businesses that are earning money in dollars or in dirhams or in uh, other currencies, when you turn those money but that, that money back into uh, sterling, it's going to increase in value. So the exchange rate uh, can have an impact as well. And obviously, um, this, is, this is an advantage of exchange rate, as has the, you can see that because the value of the pound has grown, uh, we've seen a big kick in uh, exports actually falling again now. But um, uh, yeah, so exchange rates have a big impact on the financial um, uh, area of a business. Um, and it can be 
complicated as well, of course. If we're trying to work out how much profit we've earned and we're getting revenue in dollars and we're paying people in uh, Australian dollars and uh, yen and all sorts, it, it becomes very difficult to account for all these different currencies which are currently, which are constantly changing in value. Finally, you've got to be aware of all the different tax systems in all the different countries that you're operating in. Amazon and Apple are in the news quite a lot because they kind of fiddle their tax systems and they say they're earning money in countries that have got lower tax rates when actually people dispute that and say they're not. So this can cause a lot of issues for finance as well. So lots of issues for finance. We've got revenue impact, we've got cost effects, we've got uh, the impact of operating in a lot of different exchange rates, currencies and the um, requirements of businesses to pay uh, tax in different uh, international environments.